Hi, my name is Tilo and I'm the developer of Eclipse of Elysium. In this short devlog I want to share the journey of developing my own video game. I will talk about my initial attempts with Unreal Engine 5, discuss my future plans and also offer you some tips if you're planning to develop your own game. Let's get started! Ever since I was a little boy, I've dreamed of developing my own video game. And this dream never left me. So three years ago, I gave myself a birthday present and downloaded the latest version of Unreal Engine 5. And yes, a 20 GB download is still a challenge in Germany. And the first time I opened it, it was overwhelming. My brain hurts! On one hand, it's so easy to create beautiful 3D environments, but on the other hand, there are so many systems. Blueprints, state machines, simulations, databases. Whew, I really asked myself, will I understand all of the stuff? <laughs> no. So I devoured one tutorial after another, night after night until I was ready for my own video game journey. Shigeru Miyamoto said, wealth is being able to express your own creativity. And honestly, I can't think of a better time to be creative. The tools to program your own games are all there, whether it's Unreal or Unity. Both are available for free. There are incredibly many open assets and assets you can use, like the Quixel library from Epic. And I want to recommend to anyone thinking of developing a video game one day, sign up for the Epic Store. Every month they offer free assets, plugins or entire packages. I just want to call on everyone at the beginning. If you also want to develop a game, go for it. The opportunities are there. You don't need much money, just a lot of time and patience. Patience. Use the force. Think. But what kind of game do I actually want to make? I had many ideas. I wanted to make a diplomacy simulator modeled after the 30 year war in Germany. A space game inspired by the TV show Firefly. Or a card game like Magic. But after many, many attempts it became clear to me. I wanted to make a JRPG. Games like Final Fantasy or Xenoblade Chronicles are among my absolute favorites. What the bloody hell is this? Don't tell me this is meant to be me. A remarkable likeness, to say the least. Oi, do you see some things? But making a JRPG as a solo developer and as a newcomer is insane. Absolutely mental. <laughs> in, a, in a nice way? Yeah. 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 Creating your own 3D models alone is incredibly labor intensive. I also didn't want to use simplified polygon characters, even though that was the only thing that was possible for me. And I didn't want to make a poor pixel game, because I wanted to use the beautiful 3D graphics of Unreal. Fortunately, a developer studio had already shown another way. I was fascinated by the art look from Square Enix. Octopath Traveler made the fusion of pixel art and 3D graphics. And it was clear to me, I wanted to create something like that. And fortunately, there is a well-hidden website, an incredible tool, the LPC Generator. In this open art project, talented artists have created assets for a character creator. There you can quickly create cool 2D characters with completely free to use assets. With this created sprite sheets you have animations for running, attacking and so on. I put the sprites in the pixel art tool Sprite and wrote a small script to improve my workflow tagging all the animations. So I had my characters and the next task was putting them in Unreal.
In Unreal, there are not many tools to handle 2D graphics and sprites. But there are good plugins. The most famous is Paper 3D. But to be honest, I skipped plugins entirely in my game development. I really got how class-based programming works and I discovered the gift of node-based programming. And so I put all my needed mechanics in blueprints. This includes my paper character blueprint. I used it to program all animations myself. It recognizes actions like moving, standing and attacking. This gives me full control over my characters. For example, I use a classic animation with four directions during exploring the world. But my combat system is more like a beat-em-up. So I use animations and battles with only two directions. And this reduces the work for character creation dramatically. And I don't use plugins for my dialogue system too. Instead, I made a system myself. It lets me create dialogues and direct a whole scene. I call it the Director X system, or DXS. Yeah, I know, very smart. It's so dumb. Oh, it's so dumb, it's brilliant. No! It's just dumb! DX is a series of blueprints, in fact, the bare bone of my game. A DX blueprint can access a macro library, including many actions. I can make NPCs rotate and run away. And of course, I can start dialogues. The DX system gives me the best of two worlds. I can quickly create complex scenes, they have interactions and dialogue trees, and I can also code more complex actions directly in the blueprint. The DX system is still evolving. All gameplay elements intertwine with the system and this makes my work much easier and efficient. Speaking of simpler and more efficient, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Yes, I use AI. And I use it intensively. I know this statement can be polarizing, as many believe. They took our game! They took your game! They took your game! And yes, there is some truth to that. But for me personally, AI doesn't destroy creativity, it unleashes it. I spend hours daily with ChatGPT, which helps me write my story, my characters and my world. And it turns out, the computer delivers far fewer finished ideas than you might think. But talking with ChatGPT is a tremendous help in researching mythological backgrounds, brainstorming names or yeah, well, spell checking. <laughs> I also rely heavily on AI for artwork, pixel art templates, character portraits or concept art. I would surely need a 10 person team for that. I might never be able to realize my vision. But AI helps me to make it possible. And I want to emphasize, hardly any graphic enter the game as is. I still spend hours in Photoshop afterwards or using it merely for inspiration. And I think AI will become a reality in all areas of life, especially in the game industry. The faster developers learn to handle it, the more opportunities they have to realize their dream and make their game come true. I'm still at the beginning of my journey. However, I've decided to launch a Kickstarter campaign early on. Even though I've acquired many skills, there are far more talented people in every area. Be it pixel art, 3D environments or music composing. And I want to work together with them. Therefore I'm asking you, please visit my Kickstarter page and if you like my project, support me. I would really appreciate it. They offered me what I couldn't refuse, money. I thought I wanted to make just an RPG. What I didn't know until then, you must first create your own RPG maker. I have largely completed this process. So in the next devlog I want to talk more about the game itself. The characters, the world, the lore and of course the gameplay. If you want to know more, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. I will now be releasing a devlog every month. I will also share smaller shorts or impressions from time to time. Developing my first video game is one of the most exciting and intense journeys of my life. 
but I'm looking forward to the day when my dream comes true.